Hey, how's it going, y'all? Just Izzy here, once again, with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Let's Play. And probably wondering what we're doing on the Off Limits Beach. Well, off screen, I got the. I w fought the Great Marlboro and the Jabberwock. I think it's a Great Marlboro. It was a Marlboro of some kind. And got their. got the materials that they dropped, their monster parts. And so now we were able to, I was able to transmute the legendary bait and now I can come here and use it and summon whatever fiends are wreaking havoc here on the beach. Because we can't have them this close to the resort. Much as I loathe doing a favor for Kyrie. Some legend. This bait's a bust. You just put it down. Go <laughs> too soon. Sea devils. Oh, dang, these things are fast. And they are not friendly. All right, well, they're at least leaked either fire or ice. Probably ice. <laughs> Shots taken right before disaster. <laughs> Carnivorous creatures that live near co coast. Carnivorous, I couldn't tell with those sh razor sharp teeth. Their raging appetites compel them to never let go of their prey once seized. Having lost their feeding grounds to the development of leisure resorts in recent years, They've begun lashing out at the humans responsible. Oh, so it's our fault again. Typical humans. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. Inflicting a certain amount of lightning damage will cause them to attack less frequently. Interesting. Alright, let's, uh... Oh no! Let go of Cloud, he's just skin and bones. Oh jeez, gotta make this fast. Ah! Belly flop me. Yeah, let's try. Help. Stop it! Well, we could have killed it. There we go. Now, these guys should have been in the the relentless enemy simulation there at Hoja's lab. No kidding, they need to chill. There we go. Better go tell Kyrie. Right. So, uh, what about the mayor's other request? You know, the whole take care of her thing? I mean, lying isn't the greatest, but she doesn't deserve that. Not yet, at least. But we're leaving our options open. That's what Cloud's trying to say. There's nothing over here, right? Mm -hmm. Just poor washed up boat. Okay, back to the beach. Life's a beach, and so is Kyrie, because she keeps get, getting us to do her work for her. Boy, those guys did a number on us. Let's, let's head to the hotel here first. 
They have a room set aside especially for us on the road coast. Here at the Welshley Arms, all manner of unspeakable things happen under the hot tub. can claim my reward. Hold it. Hmm? Huh? The mayor had another request. Uh, uh, what was it? He said we should take care of you. He what? No, this has to be a joke, right? Hate to break it to you, Kyrie, but this is no laughing matter. What? Wait, hang on a sec. Please. Why would he ask you, my own business partner to take me out what did i do wrong hey you know how the business works here business partner partners take each other out all the time <laughs> what did she do wrong uh yeah well both of these answers are right but uh i kind of want to see her squirm a little bit so how about Think long and hard. Oh god, I don't know. Wait a minute. Is this about my looks? I'm so gorgeous that you can't take your eyes off me, distracting you from your mercenary duties. Right? That's the best you can come up with. No, wait! Let me guess. Are you mad that I called myself a mercenary? Or was it that I pressured you into doing all the dirty work? Or that I wasn't giving you a big enough cut? All of the above. Forgive my granddaughter for a questionable sense of humor. Grandma? I was taking some time off to enjoy the sun when I heard a Merc was in town. Figured I'd pay him a visit and, well... <laughs> if Cloud hadn't come to your rescue, young lady, you would have been a goner. Oh yeah, this old lady was in the remake. Don't be fooled. That mayor's no model citizen. He's as wicked as they come. You need to pick your targets with care. Yeah, yeah. He's told me a thousand times. Make it a thousand and one, because you still don't get it. Look, I'm doing my best out here, okay? It's just that some things are beyond my control. You're the one who doesn't get it. No matter what I try, every single time, it's... I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ah, oh, Kyrie. You know I only want what's best for you. And if you're to be the next guardian angel of the slums... Honestly, I kind of get where Kyrie is coming from here. Parents want kids to listen to them because they know what's best, but they don't. They just want us to do whatever they tell us. And that really, really sucks, you know? <sighs> I've always looked up to the guardian angel of the slums But that's your thing, Grandma Not mine And no matter how much I want to follow in your footsteps and make you proud I can't Because I'm not you I'm me <laughs> I don't know You certainly sound just like me Oh? Oh Forgive me, dear I know I shouldn't push you, or nitpick your technique. So how about this? We work together as partners, equals. Sound fair? <sighs> now then, shall we head home? The people need us. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> In any case, thanks for looking out for my little Merc. I'll be taking her back to Midgar. Try Wait. to make sure she stays there. <laughs> Trying's about all I can do. 
Or I'll be back to finish the job. Thank you for stepping in back there. Eh, I was just so pissed I had to say something. <laughs> Stay strong. You too. Girl power and all that. <laughs> Come on, partner. Coming! Actually, what say we look for one last job before we leave? Oh, I've got an idea. You see, I dug up a little dirt about that mayor. Just a little? <laughs> so, what do we do now? We go and tell the mayor we took care of the merc. Just like you wanted. Oh, we took care of her alright. Yep. She's feeding the fish. No doubt about that. Yep. Don't ask any more questions. Pay up, Mr. Mayor. Oh, there you are, friends. I heard you ran that little swindler out of town. I would have preferred a more final farewell, but she's gone and that's enough. As a token of my thanks, accept this reward. We've got trouble. See for yourself. They even found the secret safe. It's empty. What? You better head back. Yeah, looks like the angels have already struck. I hereby bequeath your ill-gotten gains to the more deserving masses. And it's signed, the first and third guardian angels of the slums, radiant saviors of the sun-kissed. No way! <laughs> you go, girls! So, they admitted they redistributed the wealth among the, the townspeople, so that means when they leave, the mayor will just tax the citizens. Even more so. <laughs> I bet you didn't think of that, did you, angels? Oh, well. That's their problem. Uh, did I see that correctly? There are new quests available? Or are they just different quests? I knew I had... I already had some in the Corral region. Uh, let's see, just kind of peeking around here, what I can do. Um, I think I actually want to go get those two remaining pirate pirate king treasures. Let's go! Because I think one's just right off the coast here. Somewhere around here. Perhaps not. Okay, that's where we started. Which one did I get last time? I don't think I I don't think I got one off that island. The northernmost island.
Uh, okay. Have to go a little bit further out into sea. That was the first stop I made. So, okay, yeah, I didn't go around here. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I just got too distracted of going out and seeing how far north I could go. And then when I turned back around, I... Just something that the, the Junon cannon just called to me, like a siren. Because I got the spot way down south of Junon. Ooh! More Jetsam. Hmm. There we are. Whoop. Baby turns on a dime. She flies like a dream. Alright. Yeah, let's go with Barrett and Red. Actually, I did have a... I, God, this... I don't know what it is about Kate Sith. But for some reason, I'll just get new weapons for him. And... We'll just I either forget or go totally unnoticed because I got this Gale Horn, which I actually I did remember getting this, but I had forgotten I forgot to equip it. So, and it comes with Lady Luck, luxurious megaphone passed down from one kitty king to the next, and Lady Luck call upon the goddess of fortune to temporarily increase allies' critical hit rate. So. And if you activate it in a three-person party, you get a little proficiency bonus, so... Another dragon. Uh, these get... Whoa, okay. Apparently it does not like being... ...making close contact, people. Sea Dragon, one of the guardians protecting the Pirate King's treasure. Though known as the Slumbering Keeper, it surely sleeps with one eye open, as none have yet laid a finger on its booty. When enveloped in its galvanizing flames, it will unleash powerful, fiery counterattacks. Poisoning it will quench its flames and pressure it. Only lightning aspected attacks will fill the stagger gauge. Okay. Really? Hmm. Well, I got that right. Not filling that up at all. Uh, I don't know... Okay, yeah. Barret's got thunder. Boy, that didn't fill up very much. Little fireballs just... That can hit me. Ah! Flamethrower had quite a reach to it. Alright, better top old Barret off. There we go.
back up. Alright. Lady Luck, be kind. Cloud does have Fireball Blade. This is the end. Okay, that wasn't the cleanest fight. Especially since I couldn't even stagger him, but... I don't, even, I don't think I have poison equipped on anybody. If I had died, I could have switched things around. But, uh, it wasn't too bad. Okay. That's the third piece. Oh, excuse me, girls. Now these boxes get here. Boy, it sure would be nice if we could heal. You ready to jet? But SIDS Air Transport, whatever his business is called, doesn't offer that service, so. Okay, now the next one appears to be... Looks like somewhere down here, near the uh, Gungaga region. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't know if I can do it from here. It looks like I can fast travel. As I am going to... Just go to Gungaga Village. Rest up. Take on Regina. Who I think is at the very top of the Queen's Blood. The uh, Queen's Blood leaderboard, as it were. The, the, uh, one of the most talented competitors you can face off against. And uh, I do want to rest. And then once I beat her, head on to the Gungaga port, hop on the tiny Bronco there, and then start scouring the coastline. Let's see if we can find that last piece of treasure. I hope you're able to get some R &R while you're here. Way ahead of you. Don't forget to try some. It's Cloud, fancy seeing you again. What are you doing here? No, don't tell me. Are you here for a match? I'm game, I guess. Hmm. Well, come on. You doing this or what? Doesn't sound like her usual cocksure self. I'll go with this deck.
Taking control of the board rather quickly. Um, in fact, she's taking taking control of so much. I think I've already lost this match. Still got a chance here. I think I got a play card, even though I miss out on the bonus tile on it. Eh, well, I guess I should have seen that coming. This match is probably already done. Yeah, this is just time wasting now. Okay, um... Okay, um... One of the issues I remember last time, I wanted to add another... Another card that's not a replacement card. Which one? 
I'm not sure. Um, I did used to have... Uh, I used to have Amalgam. How about Vincent? So this is basically the replacement... My replacement deck, so... He'd work well with it. Yuffie's another good one, now that I think about it. She'd be another good one, so I might add her eventually. To this hand. Aha, uh -huh. you think you're so clever, don't you? I don't think I'd, I don't know if I'd even, even be able to use the Galleon Beast. Mm-hmm. 
It's like three of my cards, but only one of theirs. Mm. She's still beating me by one. But I think she's out of cards. No, she's beat me by 11, actually. Well, I guess she does she can't use any others. Um, that's a replacement card, can't use it there. And this will lower. Hmm. Uh, lowers his by two, mine by three, but I gain four with the, just the sheer power of it. So I think I still come out and head. And then. Yeah, slap this bad boy down there. I think that's game. <laughs> Replacement card strats are just so broken. Oh, and we win the Maloceros. When you win the lane, you receive a score bonus of 10. It's a three-tiled card, but it's got five power. And, I don't know, pretty decent tile placement, so not a bad card. Come. Let me tell you a story. Once... There lived a queen of peerless beauty and compassion. She loved her people. And they, in turn, loved her. But one day, a change came over the queen. In the blink of an eye, her love turned to hate, her compassion to cruelty. Fair and beauteous though she remained, her heart became black as pitch. Conquest was now her cause, her subjects mere fodder, to feed her boundless ambition. And so her kingdom grew as her people perished. Until, that is, a ray of hope appeared. A sorceress who would be their salvation. The Emerald Witch, they called her. And with her arcane powers, she led the people in rebellion, captured the queen, and put her to death. Yet from the tyrant's body spilled blood as dark as shadow. And from this wicked ichor, the myriad fiends of the world were born. And that is the story of the Shadow Blood Queen. Some call it a parable, a myth, a fairy tale, and I wish it were. But she is as real as you and I. And she is coming. Her resurrection is nigh. You know what 
must be done. She cannot be allowed to return. She must not reclaim her throne. I pray you will succeed where I so miserably failed. You are our last hope, Cloud. I await you at the haunted hotel. You must hurry. How does he know Cloud's name? Don't mind me. Not been feeling so hot. Hey, Cloud. Do you know anything about the Shadowblood Queen card? It's the most powerful card in the world. One of a kind. Though, it seems there's a special card that can supposedly counter it. The Emerald Witch. <gasps> Sorry, sorry. Just forget I said anything. I'm really tired is all. Too many competitions lately. Yeah, that's what losing a bunch will happen to you. Congratulations, Cloud. You have risen to the rank of Blood Marquee. By the way, I recently received a letter addressed to you. It read, I'll be waiting for you at the Hotel of the Gold Saucer. From a friendly specter. Are they inviting you to play Queen's Blood with them? I wonder. Hmm. Maybe it's the maybe it's the robot Tomberry. Okay, well, we'll just leave Regina to her headaches and her wincing and head to the Gongaga port next. And go straight into the tiny Bronco. And pull up our little treasure map. And it looks like it's kind of around here. Too shallow. Turn around. Hey, look, Junon. <laughs> ah, there it is. A little closer. There we go. All right. What is it this time? Big ugly ogre. Ogre Raider, one of the guardians protecting the Pirate King's treasure. With its trusty club as a paddle, this fiend plows through even the harshest waves as though they were mere ripples. Inflicting enough damage by exploding its elemental weakness will pressure it as the battle progresses. It will grow incensed. Its power intensifies with each roar it emits, reaching its apex after the third. Okay, so it's weak to... Blizzard. He's knocking me silly. Don't overdo it. Right. 
Not. Oh my goodness, just wasted that. I don't think he has. Yeah, it's fine. I went much smoother than the uh, sea dragon one. Uh, let's claim our prize. Well then, we've collected all the lost fragments. Time to reassemble the pirate. All right, and I think I can do that from the transmuter menu here. The Corsair's Compass, a compass that once guided an ancient pirate king to both glory and riches untold. A details of the accessory, partitions ATB gauges gauge into three segments for a short period after using three types of commands. That's actually not bad. That's pretty good. Corsair's Compass, you have successfully transmuted the ancient pirate king's trusty compass. Pay attention to where it points you, will, you while sailing the high seas. It may lead you to treasure. Okay. Interesting. Let's see if we... Let's give it a try here. You ready, Jet? And I had no idea that Red Thir one of the Red Thirteen's dreams was LARPing as a pirate. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, well, it doesn't seem to be on the screen now, but I suppose if I sail around some, it'll eventually pop up. Oh. I guess opening the commands menu slows us down. Ah, oh, here we go. Got a hit. Uh, oh, it just leads you to the Jetsam. Oh, I see. Well, I've already collected some of it. I guess I could wander around a little bit. How far is it going to let me go south? Keep going, we might end up at the island with the uh, Knights of the Round Table. There, well, there's Junon, it's not that far away. I felt like I was going farther south than that. Oh, I've been going east, I thought I was going south that whole time. <laughs> Alright. Oh, interesting. So apparently there's quite a... F there's several of those Jetsums just floating out in the ocean. And the Corsair's Compass helps you track them down. I think that's my fourth or fifth one, so I'll have to look up see how many there are. But uh, for now, I think I'm going to call it with this episode. And next time, I'm going to head to the uh, Gold Saucer. Because there's... it's where everything's happening now. Gotta go there for the main story excuse me, in side quest, and apparently face down our next opponent in Queen's Blood, but uh, thanks for tuning in, and hope to see you all in the next one. Till then, y'all take care.